I am on another road now in Krugersdorp and even though I'm taking photos I'm not going to mention the name of the road just purely because of not wanting to put uh, any risk to the businesses or places um, namesake at least uh, because they had nothing to do with Cecilia Stain and her group and what they were carrying out but on this one road there was three particular places that Cecilia would go to very often and more so as time went by at least up until I had left her at the one place Cecilia started hiding out it was a, a guest house now she used to hide out there uh, on high nights high days I had been into this guest house with her I'd seen the whole guest house the rooms and everything spoken to the owner um, and made arrangements that whenever Cecilia wanted to go stay there she was able to go stay there uh, this owner definitely did not know why Cecilia was staying there she well the, the she did not know the real reason why Ce Cecilia was staying there put it that way Cecilia gave yet another nonsense scenario or nonsense reasoning to this person but towards the last year year and a half if not two years of knowing Cecilia she was almost at this place on a weekly basis if not at the very least every two weeks I was always told that she was hiding there because of high nights uh, so that her dad in the occult can't find her um, so she would be safer and the list of reasons would go on but I can definitely tell you now that well I mean on obviously we all know that that's not why she would be at the guest house I had never been with her uh, staying a night at the guest house I know she had definitely been there and she definitely stayed there but I do not know exactly what happened when she was there I don't even know who had been there with her I know there were times where she would go on her own and sometimes she would tell me that she would go there just to get away from everybody but there was one very dramatic incident regarding this guest house which was the Halloween just before I had left Cecilia so basically every single Halloween is the biggest occult ritual date and every single Halloween is supposedly the time where Cecilia would receive the most brutal attacks and basically guaranteed to die that night and apparently she had died every single Halloween night after she had left the occult and on this specific Halloween just before I had left her uh, she had apparently been staying at the guest house with Rhea and I don't remember the extensive details of what had happened but basically the occult had apparently gotten to attack Cecilia and uh, she had passed out she had blood pouring out of her mouth um, she had stopped breathing the owner of the guest house and Rhea apparently were freaking out they were going crazy trying to save her and then the paramedics were called she was rushed off to the hospital and apparently at the hospital which is across from Cecilia's flat uh, the hospital actually declared her dead they had apparently even pulled the sheet over her head and written down her time of death and apparently Rhea had been next to Cecilia's supposedly dead body praying the whole time for God to bring Cecilia back to life and then apparently the next minute Cecilia comes back to life throws the blanket the towel whatever it's called off of her and gets up and walks out the hospital as if absolutely nothing is wrong now at that time point with everyone in her group that had heard that story it was a dumbfounding miracle uh, Cecilia was officially declared dead 
And I forgot to add, she was declared dead for over an hour. So this was a huge miracle in the eyes of everyone in her group. But after I had left Cecilia, I managed to speak to Rhea when Rhea was starting to see the truth. And Rhea and I relayed a lot of scenarios between us of what Cecilia had told each of us. And this was one of the scenarios that I related to Rhea. And Rhea looked completely dumbfounded. Her jaw had dropped. Uh, her eyes were big. She was gobsmacked. Um, she was speechless. And she said to me, she was never even there that night with Cecilia. Cecilia was apparently at home with her husband and kids. 